Hello viewers, welcome to Runa, taking you through the story of all level mathematics. And this video, we are going to go through the expected response for Senior 1, Math, End of Term 2 for the year 2024. So this video is suitable for students from Senior 1 up to Senior 4. So the text shows our progress, what we have uploaded so far. And what is not yet ticked shows what we are yet to upload. So just start with item one. Item one says a surveyor is mapping a piece of land and needs to determine the boundaries of a triangular plot. Okay. The coordinates of the three corners of the plot are this a which is 7 2 b which is negative 5 4 and c which is negative 2 negative 7 task roman 1 using these coordinates plot the points on a graph and circumscribe a triangle through them okay roman 2 what is the length of each side of the triangle and the coordinates of the circumcenter in brackets the center of the circumscribed circle then Roman 3 calculate the area of the circumcircle so this involved two two to three topics but mainly two based on the calculum one is the topic of rectangular Cartesian coordinates and also the topic of geometric construction skills. So here we shall need a graph paper. This question needs has to be done on a graph paper. Then we shall draw the axis. Our coordinates had negative and positive coordinates. So we shall need to draw axis so that we can cater for both negative and positive values. The axis should be labeled. You see this labeling? It needs to be there. And the arrows must be seen. At the bottom, you may not put the arrow, but at the top here, you have two. And also here, you have two. Then shall now look for the scale. For the horizontal axis, let's use a scale of one same that represent one unit. Of course, the scale for the positive, the same scale for the negative. Then also vertical axis. We shall need a scale for the vertical axis. So for the vertical, we shall still maintain the scale one same that represent one unit. So the scale used for the vertical axis is the same scale which should be used for the, the scale used for the positive values is the same scale which should be used for the negative values. Then from there you can now start plotting. Point A was 7, 2, point B was negative 5, 4, and point C was negative 2, negative 7. So I want to begin with 7. 2. 7, 2 means you move 7 steps horizontal and 2 steps up vertical. Then negative 5, 4, you, may, you move to the left up 5 and also upward 4. Then negative 7, so negative 2, negative 7, you move negative 2 points horizontal and negative 7 down. So those are the 3 points. Then you have to join them using a ruler to obtain the rectangular plot. So joining A to B gives that, B to C gives that, and C to A gives that. So basically that is the rectangular plot of land. But they told us to circumscribe. Circumscribe, for you to circumscribe a triangle, you need to draw a circle which passes through all the three vertices a b 
and C. So how do we do that? The procedure is you need to bisect any two. Okay, draw two perpendicular bisectors of any of the two sides. So considering side AB, I'll put my compass needle at point A and get a and measure off any radius of the any radius to draw that arc. But after drawing that arc, I'm going to maintain the radius I've used. So maintain the radius used and put the compass needle at B, then draw that arc. Then still maintain the radius you have used and put the compass needle at C and draw that arc. Now from there, next is to join. We are going to join using a ruler, join this point to this point. So let's do that. When we join, we can show come up with that. Then also, we need to join this with this and draw a line through them. Now from there, you will realize that these two lines, these two bisectors intersect at this point. That point of intersection is now the center of the triangle. So the center of the circle you're going to draw. So what you're going to do, put the compass of the needle here and measure radius from that point O up to point C. So and use that radius to draw the circle. So that will be the circum circle they wanted you to draw. The next was to measure the length of each side and also the yeah, length of each side and also the area of the circle. So length A B is this eleven point eight units. So I can either use, say units or use centimeters. This is for to cater for the errors. That means that if you get eleven point seven, it is okay. If you get 11.9, it is still okay. Then BC is 11 units. This is cutoffs for the error. So if you get 10.9 is okay and 11.1 is okay. Then SC is 12.3, meaning that if you get 12.2, it's okay. And also if you get 12.4, it is okay. Then the center, they also ask for the center. The center here, I think you'll see that it, it has two small squares. Each small square represents 0 0.2 units. Therefore, if there are two small squares, it will be 2 times 0 0.2 to give you 0 0.4. That's why you see here 0 0.4 and negative 0 0.4. Then next was to get the area of the circle. To get the area, we shall need this radius. We get a rule and measure radius from O up to C. So that radius will be 6.8. Then I can now use that to code the formula for area and substitute. So here they didn't give us the value for pi, meaning any is okay. One can choose to use 22 over 7, okay. Another can choose to use 3.14, it is okay. Another one can also choose to use the pi, which is found on the calculator. All answers will be okay. So we needed, so the uh, scores, two scores for the axis, if I see this and this. But not only labeling the axis, some students are funny. Do you know what they do? They put negative values this side and positive values this side. If I see that, then this mark has gone away. So applies the vertical. If you put negative values up and positive values down, that mark for the y-axis will have gone. So those are two scores for the axis. The next will be plotting. So you need to plot. Some students are also find you know what they do. This first one, they call it y coordinate and this one x coordinate. It is not okay. So the coordinates are x, y. The first figure is for the horizontal axis. And the second figure is for the vertical axis. So if I see 7, 2 and I count 7 steps here and 2 steps and I put it here, 
it is not okay it is not okay so that carried three marks the next was joining abc to get a triangle that is only one one score then any two perpendicular bisectors circumcircle and, and then the measurements so that's what they wanted in item one then when we come to item two item two says there is rampant unemployment in uganda okay the government is putting in place measures to combat this challenge to tackle this challenge the government needs to know how the population is growing. The Uganda Bureau of Statistics, which is UBOS or UBOS, conducts the population of Uganda in a period of approximately 10 years. In 2002, the population of Uganda was 24.2 million. Okay. The census that was conducted in 2014 revealed that Uganda had a population of 34.6 million mm -hmm. and the recently conducted population census of 2024 Uganda's population is now estimated to be 45.9 now task A help the government and state in words that pop Uganda's population increment from 2002 up to 2014 so not the years 2002 to 2014 so your work was to come and look at 2002 what was the population 2002 the population was this then 2014 the population was this so the increment will be got by subtraction so it's supposed to come and say that the increment will be this minus this which is 10.4 million people so you can either choose to write it like this or you write it like that everything is okay but when it comes to writing in words some of you have fun you know what you do you write 10.4 million people that is not okay what you want in words is this so what to see writing 10 million four hundred thousand people from this to this was the increment then that was part a part b says part b state the percentage increment of the population from 2014 to 2024 So they said 2014 to 2024. We need to go back and see the values in 2014. Oh, for 2014, we already know it is this. Then 2024, it is that. So percentage increment is increase over original times 100. Therefore, the first thing to do was to get the increment, this minus this, to give you 11.3 million people. Then the percentage increment will be increment of original. Original is the initial, what was originally there before the increase. So this is increase over original times 100 to give you 32.659%. So that was task B, then task C, so those were the scores for item 1 and item task A and task B. Then task C, it says, divide the 2024 population by 2020, 2002 population leaving your answer as a fraction so yeah, what we are testing what do you know what a numerator will be and what the denominator will be 
So fraction will be population in 2024 over population in 2002. So you get this population over that to give you this fraction or this mixed fraction. Alternatively, even if you use the points, it is still okay because what we know, a fraction should not stop here. You need to remove all the decimals. So this is okay and this is also okay. So that brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching and be reminded that this video will be on Senior 2 Mod 2 for the year 2024. So if you have not yet subscribed, please click on the subscribe button below this video such so that you can receive updates when the next video has been uploaded. Also, if you know any student who has not changed on this platform, please share the link of this video with them via social media platforms like Facebook and WhatsApp. So you will all benefit us, the family.